Torah Life Ministries come out of the world. Messiah people seek the truth. If you want an example of what's coming, what's happening, and how it's going to be, and how we could survive, we could take example from models. And, and the Bible is a book of, of a, a model. You know, other than the the Torah, the Gospel, and Revelations, which which show us and tell us everything we need to know. Everything in it and every figure in it is a model of how to respond to certain situations that we are in our life. But when we look at the model that Yahweh has provided us today in our daily life, all we have to look at is Islamic countries. This is the perfect example of, uh, of, of all the things here that we're speaking about. Not just losing our freedom, but uh, being uh, persecuted it's like we've never understood persecution before. And how do we handle it? And how do people uh, make it in those situations and do those particular things? And, and, and it's, 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 it's there for us to show us. Now, on that same note, I know somebody, a, a young family that are missionaries in Iraq, and they love it there. They, they, they moved there permanently, I think. They love it there. They've been there. They had their children there. And they told me a story about a, a fellow who escaped Iraq to escape the violence, and he got him to the United States. I think he moved to Detroit. And he got murdered after being here for only three months. And, uh, you know, so, you know, we got to, there's a way amongst the persecution that, that Yahweh lets his, his believers survive or the people that should be surviving. But when we talk about persecution that's to come and everything that's happening, it's, 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 it's already out there. And you know what, though, it's, it's very interesting because a lot of it is scriptural in terms of, uh, in Islam and Sharia law that, that is, is making its way here. We looked at, I saw a lady on the news. Nobody discussed this here uh, tonight. Uh, there was a lady in the news in Virginia, I think it was somewhere. She got arrested for wearing a bikini on the beach. That's not necessarily a bad thing. Uh, and uh, well, she didn't get arrested. They put her in handcuffs and took her off the beach. And because she was wearing a bikini on the beach. And it was, I don't know how many of you saw that in the news. But just think about that for a second. Uh, people wearing masks, covering their faces, uh, getting pulled off beaches because they're dressed in modest, and not being able to worship at certain places. What does all this sound like to you all? What does it sound like to you? And then you think about Sharia law in these Islamic countries. And then you can think about there are certain areas in Detroit, or at least in Michigan right now, in Ohio, you can't go in certain areas because unless you're a Muslim. You're not allowed in certain, and this is the United States. And we look at the, the rate of uh, Islam growing and the great rate of the lukewarm Christians around. And then uh, something else I heard about called the second Holocaust is about all these uh, Jewish people that stopped having children because they want to work and make money while the uh, Muslims are having 10, 20 kids and they're out numbering everyone in the world. And we look at what's happening. You know, and, and, and so we got to be careful with this. And we have to understand this. I mean, there are places around the world, like I think, I don't know if it's Japan, I think, Japan or China, where, you know, I don't think you'll find one, one, one Muslim in Japan. They're not allowed to get in that country. I think that's the country it is. And, and because they understand. They understand the big picture of this and they understand what's happening. And so we need to be aware and we need to understand, you know, it's... Uh, the, the real evil behind this, you know, it is a spiritual battle. It's an unseen thing. But we talk about this persecution. I mean, if we think our local government is, is persecuting us because they're wake, making us wear a mask, we haven't seen anything yet. Go on. What was the name of that movie? There was a movie about persecution and, oh, it was a good, it was a good documentary. Uh, they live. Uh, no, they live. That's that must be another one. But it was a really good documentary. Somebody told me about about the persecution that uh, Americans and Christians and people, Christians all over the world, uh, not even American, have to go through on a daily basis because of where they're living. The, the mask is nothing. Yes, it's the beginning. It's an open door. But like there's nothing new under the sun. But when you compare that to real persecution, if you went into an Islamic country where Christians are getting persecuted. If you went to the Congo or somewhere out there on a continent of Africa where Christian, they, they, they get, they're going into villages and killing every Christian, and you told one of those people, the greatest persecution you're going to suffer in the next 10 years is you're going to have to wear a mask on the street. Really? That's going to be my great persecution? Give me that mask. 
you know, compared to what they're going through and what they have to deal with on a regular basis. Yes, I understand. This is just a, 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 a us giving into the government and the capitalism and the political stuff that's going on. But persecution is something we don't we, we, we haven't experienced for the most part in this country. We don't know what it is. We don't know what it looks like. And it's not. Well, they said I have to wear a mask or, or the lockdown. You think the lo being locked in your house with your Internet and your air conditioning and your food, you think that's persecution? You think that's an issue? You go to some of these places around the world where these people, you know, if, if, if they know, if, if somebody even says they have a Bible, they'll, they'll chop their heads off. And you're thinking, oh, you know, yeah, we, we, it's not good when change happens, but we, need, we still need to be thankful that we have such an opportunity here. And, uh, it, you know, and, and, and Scripture, you know, it says what it says, but we need to be thankful for this. Come out of the world, oh, my people. Seek the truth, avoid the evil. Learn Yahweh's ways. Torah life ministries come out of the world. 